I believe that we will have hyperinflation for six simple reasons. Number one, the six symbiotic relationship between the bankers and politicians guarantee it. The bankers get profits from lending debt money and politicians get power from spending money debt. The Fed is the lender of last resort and the government is the spender of last resort. These two are all that's necessary for the system to inflate itself into oblivion. When everyone is in debt and unwilling to take on more debt, the only two left to spin the musical propaganda and spike the monetary punch bowl are the ones that started it and benefited from the most. Number two, this is the first time in history that the entire world is unhinged from any monetary anchor. There is no market mechanism to stop the Fed from throwing another trillion dollars on the monetary fire. And it's not just the Fed, it is the Bank of Japan, the ECB, and the Bank of England. The whole world depends on the status quo of constant expansion of money supply. With the privately held central banks monetizing all the sovereign debt, there is no stopping governments worldwide from blowing another $16 trillion on wasteful government spending. These two entities have no limits to their quest for more power. Number three, inflation benefits those that have power. That is why you can count on it. Why would those that own our paradigm not print unlimited amounts of money or bail out their buddies? They are, after all, too big to fail. Inflation disproportionately hurts the rest of Americans and disproportionately benefits the criminal elite who own all of the assets. Do you really think the elite care if gas goes to $10 a gallon? No, food and energy make up such a small portion of their overall consumption, and in reality it just makes their assets worth more since they own it, transport it, sell it, and tax it. Number 4. History has shown that over and over again whenever there's a whiff of deflation or a market crash, it is met with a tsunami of new money. At what point do deflationists think that this is going to stop? The bankers want it, the politicians want it, the corporations want it, heck even the average American wants it. No one wants to see the end of this paradigm. No one wants a hard new reality. They will scream, give us more monetary drugs so that we can keep living the American dream. Money printing is a denial of reality. People delude themselves all the time, and so do societies. If given the choice between sobering up and facing the hangover or shakes, the alcoholic will choose over and over again to go back to the bottle until they hit rock bottom. And only then will they be forced to deal with the consequences of their actions. Only then will alcoholics in society sober up. Number 5. No nation that prints their own fiat debt ever takes the hard road down to deflation. While nations like Greece may default on their foreign debt and return to the drachma, the United States is never going to give up their privilege of printing the world's reserve currency. They will simply print and bail out anyone, anywhere, until the dollar has no value whatsoever. Number 6. Foreign nations will see that we are intent on destroying the dollar and will dump the dollar internationally. We have already seen nations like Brazil, Russia, India, and China dump the dollar in bilateral trade, and now they're openly starting to create their own IMF and markets and seeking to break the petrodollar trade. These foreign dollars will eventually go to the only economy that must use the dollar, the United States. Dollars will flood in and buy anything of real tangible value. Then there will be currency controls, and then the dollars will flood into the commodity markets internationally, driving up the value of real assets as people all over the world dump the dollar. Ultimately, there is no regulation or edict that will stop a market or an idea whose time has come.